since we haven't done this for a while, we'll just do our usual gentle class. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, core connected, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, and arms relaxed, come into mountain pose. Take a moment just spreading your toes, getting centered and grounded and breathing. And then inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then exhale, your hands behind you. Just gently clasp your fingers, lift your heart, stretch your head back, and breathe. Exhale, pivoting at your hips, come on over. Bring your hands up, your head down as far as it wants to go. Feel that back stretch a little bit. Take a moment, straighten your knees, move your chin around, get your neck released, and then bend your knees slightly and start at the bottom of your spine, walking back up and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, stretch your head away, and breathe. So make sure your whole spine is lengthening while you're in your back bend. And then inhale upright, Release your arms and just take a moment feeling the body. And again, inhale, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands down and lift your heart, stretch your head, and again, pivot over as you exhale. Once again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones, get the whole back of the body lengthening and then work your way up again. So start winding all the way back into the upper body back bend and stretch your head back. Don't lift your chin too high, keep stretching through the neck and don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms and get ready to stretch our sides. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders and clasp the hands overhead. Bring your arms next to your ears, everything straight facing forward and lean to the side. You can push the hips slightly away and the foot you're leaning away from down to give those ribs an extra stretch. And then inhale upright, keep the shoulders down and switch your hands, arms by your ears. Again, stretch everything up, Lean to the opposite side. Stretch it out, maximizing foot down and hands away. Don't lean forward. And then inhale back upright and release. Feel the sides a little more open and then stretch the spine apart in a twist. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, Stretch the spine and turn to one side. Take a moment and breathe and pivot on over. Stay in your twist. Keep the weight on both feet evenly and lift your hips. Arms by your ears and stay on both feet evenly. Work your way up in the twist and lift your heart. So remember, upper body only for your back bend when you're twisting, don't overdo the back. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around and stretch. Exhale to the opposite side, and again, breathe in with a stretch, pivot on over. And take a moment there, just hang and breathe, keeping the weight on both feet. And again, work your way up, still in the twist into that upper body only back bend, chest high, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center into extended mountain, shoulders down, fingertips high, and just feel your whole spine work in all its six directions. And then pivot forward again, keep the spine straight, pivot at your hips, come parallel to the floor, stretch things out, and drop into ragdoll, just lifting your hips and spreading your toes. Pull in deeper, a little more stretch on your back, 
and arms to the front for one more wind up into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feel your body and breathe. Spine a little bit more worked out. So let's bring the hands onto the back. Heels of the palms by your shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your waist. Pull your elbows toward each other, feel that chest expand. Keep your hips over your ankles and then look up and push your head slightly back. So supporting your low back, just come into that back bend as deeply as your spine wants. Don't forget to breathe. Shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. And then chin toward your chest, coming on up and release. Clasp your fingers together and bring the backs of your hands onto the back of your head, elbows straight out. Push your head into your hands and lift your heart. So a little bit more middle back, back bend as you lean into that. So take a deep breath in, lifting your heart and feel that middle of your back bend a little bit more. Keep pushing your head slightly into your hands and let yourself lean just a little bit more ahead into your hands as you lift your heart. Feel that part of your spine is working into the back bend a little bit more with this version. Exhale, lift your heart. And then chin towards your chest, inhale and come back up. Release your arms. And again, back in the mountain pose, just feeling that spine more activated. Stretch your spine apart, and we'll do our windmill twist side to side. So again, just working that spine gently one side to the other. Follow your hands around from one side all the way around to the other. And just keep the head reaching up, the shoulders down. And don't forget, of course, to breathe. And then back to the center and work your shoulders, backstroke and swimming. Bring that arm in close to your ear and then the opposite one. Just let your whole body move as you do that, like you're doing that backstroke in the pool, cooling off, breathing. And then bringing both arms up, side stretch again, coming up on the opposite toe from the side, the foot stays flat. Stretch that arm up, really reach through the ribs. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. And again, up on the toes, coming, lifting that heel, pushing the other foot way down. And then both feet down, both arms up, clasp your hands, press them to the ceiling. Pull back with your hands and lift your heart, looking slightly up, but don't crunch your neck. And then pivot forward at your hips, arms by your ears, come parallel to the floor. Push it out through those hands. And exhale, push the sitting bones and crown away from each other. Really stretch and straighten your spine. And then pushing out through the hands, come on back up. Switch the fingers and push up again. Bend your elbow over to one side, body straight. Elbow out, push back straight up, then the other arm, and come across with that hand on the top of your head. Push out with the fingertips, up with the palms, back into that straight position, and release into mountain pose. Circle your shoulders a couple of times. Feel your upper body. Bring your arms to shoulder level, fingertips touching right in front of your chest. Take a moment, keep those elbows right at shoulder level and pull them back, fingertips separating, and then back together. And then separate all the way out around and pull toward the back as far as they want to go. You can touch if you want or not. And then back, fingertips touching in the front. So elbows back, just a little opening, and then together, and then all the way around, arms right at shoulder level, as they come to the back, and again, back to the front. And release. Feel your shoulders a little bit more activated. And then step your feet together, bend your knees, 
And remember, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees, position, don't support, and circle your knees, giving those ankles and feet a little bit of movement. So big circles around, not going beyond your toes. Just working out those hips, legs, and feet. And then stop and circle the other way. And again, just go as much or as little as your body wants for those circles, working the knees and the body. And then back to the center, find your balance point spot out in front, spread your toes out, come onto the ball of your foot area, base of your toes, not your toes, and lift the heel. So find your balance, see how you do. And then roll back onto your heels and up onto your toes a few times for that bottom of your foot to get a little bit more work. And then separate your feet, coming back up into mountain pose, feet hip width apart. Clasp your arms behind your lower back or fingertips up between your shoulder blades into that reverse prayer, just to keep your shoulders straight as we circle the hips. So bend your knees slightly, not too big, too far, and circle the hips. So just nice lower body movement all the way around. So feel the hips, the legs, the ankles working. And then stop and circle the other way. And again, just notice how your body responds on both sides, doing maybe a little differently. We're creatures of habit, remember, getting into cars and tables and desks and things. We go usually habitually one way. And again, coming up into mountain pose, just feel that lower body a little more activated. Check out your toes, spread them out. Make sure that you're not gripping with your toes. Lift them up, and we'll do a balance practice. So remember, you're lifting your arch, the whole inner leg, going down into the foot, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. So remember, you may need to roll in at the top of the thigh to make sure that knee and second toe line up. Sink into your balance foot, up through the crown, and activate your core to make sure that low back stays supported as you bring your other foot up. Don't cross it over, just bring it up as far as it wants to go, a little or more, and then circle your ankle. So you can pull the knee all the way into your chest if you want, or not. Getting that workout on the back of that thigh. And then after you circle both ways with your foot, bring it back down, pointing it straight, and shift to that side. Again, sink evenly into that foot, into the ball of the foot and heel. Make sure those toes don't grip. Make sure that core is active. Check your alignment. Make sure it's all lined up before you bring your opposite foot up. And again, only as far as it wants to go up before you get your balance and circle your ankle. Breathe with it. Relax into it. And again, straighten it out as you put that foot back down. Exhale any stress or tension and bring your hands to your heart. Spread your fingers, palms together. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, looking at them. Keep gazing at your thumbs as you pull back. So you're coming to another little back bend. Stretch it out, out through the crown. Don't lift your chin. And then swan dive forward. Pivot on over, halfway down, stretch it out, and drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch. So, palms into your shins, right under your knees. Knees straight, elbows straight, spine straight. Stretch everything out. And then bend your knees, exhale, come all the way to child pose on the floor. Transition all the way down. Forward with that forehead toward the floor. Shoulders relaxing. Take a moment and breathe. And then as you inhale, sit up on your knees and bring your fingertips next to you under your shoulders, fingertips pointing toward your knees. And then lean back onto your palms and lift your chest. Stretch the back of your neck. Don't crunch it, so don't lift your chin. 
and lift your heart. You can stay on your palms, or you can push a little bit forward and lift that chest a little higher. So kind of a baby camel. And then chin toward your chest, coming back up, slide off your knees and come into a cross leg position. But then switch your legs because creatures of habit, we always start the same way. We want to make sure we get balanced as we're in our poses. So sitting bones behind you, get the core active, supporting your midsection up through the spine, everything nice and straight, shoulders right above your hips. And don't forget to breathe. Exhale any tension. And we'll work the neck and shoulders. So chin into your throat center. Just let the back of your neck get a good stretch. Remember, the shoulders stay right above the hips. You're not rounding your spine. You're only working the neck. And then the back of your head, just let it relax as you bring it, the weight of your hands onto your head. So remember, you're not pushing with your hands. You're just adding weight. So that stretch just gradually maximizes a little bit more. Take a breath. As you exhale, let that chin deepen into the throat center notch. Feel the neck stretch a little bit more. And then bring your hands back down. Lift your chin, stretch through the back of your neck up through the base of the skull and look slightly up. Move your jaw around, side to side, forward and backward, Neanderthal leg. Circle the jaw around, get those whole face muscles releasing, scrunch up your face, lengthen through the throat. And then back to neutral, everything relaxing. And switch your legs. Again, coming into that straight position up with the core active. Keep the chin neutral and tip your ear over toward one shoulder. Remember, both shoulders stay down on this, no hunching up. There's no need to get your ear and shoulder anywhere near each other. That's okay. Take a breath, exhale. Bring one hand to the back of your back, this hand you're tipping toward, and just let that stretch maximize a little bit more. Exhale, tension. And then bring that hand out, bring it up, and put it on the side of your head. And feel that stretch again, maximize a little bit more. Exhale, relaxing. And then bring the other hand just to the back of your body again. Feel what that does through the shoulder, through the neck area. Relax it. And then if you want a little bit more, bring the hand down to the floor. Push it down. Again, the weight is on your hand, not pushing into your head. Only push onto the floor. And then release your hand and the hand from your head and tip your head back upright. Notice the difference and switch your legs around one more time so that we can do the opposite side. Again, ear over toward your shoulder. Relax, just breathe. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand to the back. Just relax the shoulders down. And then take that hand, bring it up to the outside of your head. Add weight, not pressure, don't push. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel the stretch gently maximizing. Bring the other hand to the back of your body. Again, relax both shoulders. And if you want a little more, bring that hand down to the floor. Again, maximizing through that stretch on the side of your neck. Not pushing on your head, pushing into the floor if you want. Exhale any tension. And then hands back to your lap and head tipped back upright. Feel the neck and shoulders once more. Activate it and relax. Take a breath. Lift your knees and bring your legs out to the front. 
Press into stacked position, feeling that shoulder area a little bit more activated. And then bring your foot up to the upper thigh and let the knee come down toward the floor, just relaxing it as much as it wants today. Take a moment and breathe. Keep this other leg pushing straight out. Exhale, just relax, letting the knee come down as much or as little as it wants. And then picking up the foot and the knee, move it side to side, just gently. If that's working well through that hip rotator on the outside of your hip, you can bring the foot up higher or closer as you like. And then release that leg. Feel the difference on the two sides. So we'll balance with the other foot coming up, knee coming down. Again, just relaxing into it, letting it happen, not forcing anything. Just breathe. Keep pushing out through the heel and the toes on the leg out in front. And then knee and foot into your hand and just move it back and forth a little bit. Again, coming higher or closer if you want. Like. Keep the spine straight. Keep the shoulders over your hips. Crown up toward the ceiling. And exhale and release. Take a moment, feel what's going on through your lower body. Make sure those sitting bones are behind you. We're going to bring the foot up to the opposite thigh and then take the other foot underneath and come down. So half lotus position. Let this knee come down toward the floor as much as it wants to. If it's feeling like that's really relaxed and you want to bring it all the way down and work this other foot out, you can do that. And then if you want to come into full lotus, you can put the other foot up on top so that both feet are kind of bottoms up toward the ceiling. But that's a little intense on the hips, so if you don't want to do that, you never have to go there. Exhale intention. tension. And then releasing your feet, come back out into step position. Take a breath, exhale tension. And of course, we're going to balance and try the other side. So foot up to the upper thigh, knee coming down. Let this other foot cross over underneath, coming into half lotus. Stay there, perfectly good position. Or you can bring this foot out a little bit, see if that knee wants to come down. And if it does, you can bring the other foot up again into a full lotus. Remember, that's a little intense for a lot of people, so if you don't like it, don't do it. Or don't even go there, just stay in the half lotus, perfectly good, sitting on the floor watching TV position, just working gently through your hips. So then if the top foot is up, bring it down, and then uncross back into step position. Take a breath, exhale any tension, and we'll do, well, let's do our diving dolphin. So bring your foot to your inner thigh, knee out to the side, bend your knee, bring that heel back near your opposite hip. Remember, this hip can be up a little bit because we're gonna twist. So stretch that spine apart, getting a good twist opening, and turn toward that first knee bend. Hands on the leg or the floor, round, bringing your ribs back, chin tucking in, exhale the forehead down toward your knee, and then rotate your forehead to the front, crown up toward the ceiling, face forward, inhale your way all the way up to the sun and the sky. So you're the dolphin, just playfully dive under, exhaling down, rounding your spine, Getting a little back bend as you lift your heart all the way up toward the sun and the sky. And just a few times through that range of motion, working your spine, working your breath. And as you come to the top, pause, exhaling back to the center and releasing your legs. Take a moment there in staff position, getting ready, of course, to balance and do the other side. So left foot to the inner thigh, knee over to the side, just relax it down, bend your right knee, foot near your right hip, again, stretching up, letting this hip come up so that you can exhale and turn to the side. Take a breath, round forward, exhale, chin in as you dive under, forehead toward the floor. Inhale, face forward, come on up, 
lift your heart to the sun and the sky on your way up. You're the dolphin. Drag it down as you exhale and lift with the inhalation coming up, lifting that heart, keeping the shoulders relaxed and down. And just as your playful dolphin reaches up to the sun and the sky once more, just pause at the top. Exhale around to the center. And once more, release into staff position. Take a moment feeling that spine a little more activated as we bring our feet to the end of the mat. Once again, keep that core activated as you allow your whole spine just to round slowly down to the floor. And just relax a moment into your reclined integration. Shoulders coming down, chest expanding, breathing. Press your sitting bones toward your heels, back down, bend your knees, heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. And we'll do a little bridge. So hands, palms down, press the back down, and contract through those core muscles. And then as you inhale, lift your hips up straight toward the ceiling. So make sure those knees aren't spreading apart. You want them right above your ankles. Press into your shoulders. Work up onto the tops of your shoulders if you'd like. You can press your hands down into the floor and into the shoulders, up through the feet, into the hips. And just get as rounded as you'd like into your bridge. And then release your shoulders, release your shoulder blades, ribs, and spine onto the floor. Move your arms out to T position, palms up or down for our twist. So go ahead, press your back down, bring your feet up off the floor. You can keep the knees together or cross one leg over and we'll roll over toward that side. Knees down, right at hip level toward the floor, maximizing that low back twist as much or as little as you want. Remember, pillow if you need it. Shoulders down for that middle back twist. And of course, turn your head toward the opposite arm for your neck area twist. Take a breath, just relax. Deepen as much or as little into your twist as your body wants today. Exhale and relax completely. And then to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, and cross your legs if they're across. You can straighten that out if you need to. And get ready to twist the other way. Knees together, feet off the floor, or across the leg over. Again, draw the knees over right at hip level, feeling that lower back move into its twist as much as it wants on this side today. Shoulders coming down, really get that middle back into a good twist and turn your head through your neck area as much or little as your neck needs today. Take a breath and just relax into it. Let those knees come as far toward the floor as your lower back wants. Deep breaths, just relaxing. And of course, releasing, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, bringing your feet right next to your sitting bones. Slide the legs out to hip width, toes toward each other, and then relax. Shift your hands near your hips, palms up at your sides, and your shoulders down to the floor for our final relaxation. Deep breath in. Exhale, just let your neck release side to side, relaxing completely, allowing your body to sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths. Exhale, tension. Just let your body soften and sink into that earth support. Let your muscles go. Let your body go. Relaxing completely. And as your body relaxes, just let it go without awareness, without attention. And as you release any thoughts of your body, letting it soften and sink, just let any thoughts in your mind release as well. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. 
At this moment, you can let the thoughts go, just drifting away without awareness, allowing your attention to release your body and your mind, turn inward to that peace within. And just focus on the peace deep within, filling your body with peace and your mind with peace, taking moments just being peace. And as your body relaxes and your mind just drifts, just allow that peace to fill you as long as you have time. And it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely, however it feels good for you today. And when you're ready for your final Yoga hug of appreciation. Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, heels up toward your hips. Draw your knees toward your chest, and wrap your arms around. Wrap your arms around for that good, appreciable hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, all over to the side. And sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.